Hi, I'm Courtney from Burton's and in this video I'm going to show you how to use some of our new IPPV accessories so that you can safely deliver a positive pressure breath to your patient. What we have here is an in-circuit manometer that simply attaches to where the reservoir bag is in your breathing system. It means when we squeeze that reservoir bag to give that positive pressure breath to our patient, we know exactly the pressure that we are delivering. We also have an IPPV button valve. This attaches directly to the scavenging system. And it means that you just push the button to deliver the breath when you squeeze that bag and reduces the need to close and then open the APR valve or the exhaust valve on your breathing system. The safety feature around using one of these is that it means you won't accidentally or inadvertently leave that valve closed where the pressure and the volume will build up into our patient and cause them some trauma. So what I have here is a circle breathing system and I'm just going to go and attach our accessories. First of all, I have the in-circuit manometer. I'm just going to take off the reservoir bag and attach the manometer and then attach the bag back on. Now I have the IPPV button valve. I just need to attach that to the scavenge. You can imagine that we would have scavenging tubing here, but because I'm only using oxygen, I don't have to have a scavenging system in place here, but you can imagine this is exactly where you would attach yours. So when it's time to give our breath, all we need to do is close the APR valve by pushing the button, watch the manometer, and as we squeeze that reservoir bag. Now I don't have a patient here in front of me, but I do have one of our anaquins, which is our patient mannequin. So because the lung in our anaquin isn't full at the moment, I'm just going to go and fill it up first. And now I can give that positive pressure breath. So I'm simply gonna push the button, squeeze the reservoir bag, watch the pr pressure rise, and then release. And I can do it again. You can see how easy that is. This does reduce the need to have to close the valve, give that breath, and then open the valve or forget to open the valve. So you can use these accessories on a range of breathing systems. So I also have a Bane breathing system here that I'm going to use. Just to move this off the table. that to the common gas outlet. We can put our IPPV button valve just onto the scavenging system here. And where our reservoir bag would go is just here. So that's actually where I'm going to go and put an our manometer. Once again, my anaquin's lung is now empty just because of the disconnection. So I'm just gonna fill up the lung there. And now I can deliver that breath so I'm going to push this button and then watch the manometer and release them both. Now, if you don't have the IPPV button valve, you can just do as you would normally and close the APR valve and give that breath and then open it back up again. We also have a manometer that you can use with a T-piece breathing system. You'll see that they look very similar, except with the T-piece version, there is an extra attachment that will accommodate the narrow bore tubing that is part of the T-piece breathing system. So if I pop that one there and I get the T-piece, you'll see it's a very normal looking T-piece if I just connect that to the common gas outlet. And I just attach the patient end here to our anaquin. Okay, so with our expiratory limb, if we just take off the entire scavenging unit and APL valve, we can then attach our manometer directly and then put it all back together again. We can then also add our IPPV valve button onto our scavenging system. So once again, I just need to fill up that anaquin's lungs. So to give a breath, in this instance, I'm just going to close the um, APR valve because I'm holding the breathing system here, but you can use the button as well. So if I close that valve, deliver that breath, release and open, and then close that valve, give the breath, release and open. So you can see how both of these features can improve patient safety when delivering IPPV 
to our patient, those positive pressure breaths. So these are both available on our website. If you'd like any more information, you can click the link below. Um, otherwise, we'll see you next time.